And they couldn't, they, they couldn't just do a campaign where people say it at normal volume. Right. right. The whole thing has to be the duck yells. Yeah. So people feel like they're not doing it right if they're not yelling right in your face. You know? <laughs> so that's nice. It's I guess good. I asked the right question. Thanks, thanks for uh, going, okay. though. Yeah. I know you're, you're close with your mom. But I there was, there, oh, no, I, I want to do a different one. I want Let's to do a different, different one. Let's go a different way. Forget I, about it. We'll talk I just that. remember, because we we'll have to break know. it down, build it back up. Because some actors aren't comfortable talking about this. This is, this right. is, this is, they, you guys are up for parts, and, and you get beat out sometimes. You do. By, sometimes. by fellow actors. By other guys. And in 1988, there was a big movie and a big star, and you got beat out. Are I you got, comfortable I mean, talking? Sure, I get comfortable talking about it. It was a big, it was a big film. It was a movie I really wanted. Uh, it was 88, mm -hmm. and it could have been a break for me, and it was a movie about a guy who's getting his license in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and originally it was titled To Live and Drive in L.A. They later changed the title to um, License to Drive. Um, Starring? That film ultimately did not star me. It starred Corey Haim. But uh, I... He beat you out. He did. He beat me out. He thrashed me out. He yeah. spanked me out. Yeah. And uh, because the, the audition scene was one where we had you had to... S there was a moment where the character evidently was happy that he got his license. Uh -huh. And in celebration of this moment, they wanted the actor to sing I'm a free man to the tune of I'm a soul man and uh -huh. dance around. And you walked. <laughs> no, I didn't have that much dignity, my friend. <laughs> I didn't have that, that much class or sense of self or anything. No, I sat there and I kind of... There's like four people in a room, one guy with a little camera, and they're like, okay, Go ahead, yeah. sing it, do yeah. it, get action. Yeah. And I kind of went, I'm a free man. <laughs> like, thanks a lot. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's how, I knew there was a reason you lost out. I, I just, I wanted to make sure they didn't just pick Corey over yeah. you. You lost out because you wouldn't sing with all your... I, I, I kind of was trying. You know, I can't, I don't have no excuses. I make no excuses. You know, I, I took a best shot and I got beat. There you go. That's and you happens. moved on from that. Yep. And you rebounded. And here I am. Five questions. <laughs> Geography, uh, a mutual friend, a.k.a. Patty, says that you, you fancy yourself, you have a big vocabulary, so we're oh. going to ask you to define the word. We think this is a nice, fairly large, peripatetic. Wanders around, walks around a lot, travels a lot. Nomadic, very good, yeah. Itinerant, very good. How'd you know? It's okay. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Hey, okay. Uh, what is a single piece of dandruff called? A flake. A fleck. Yeah, oh. we'll take that. Oh. Yeah. No one has gotten this. Don't feel bad if no one. They've gotten nine. Uh, ten seconds on the clock. Rapid fire. Name ten breakfast cereals in ten seconds. Ten cereals in ten seconds. You ready? Sure. Go. Rice checks, corn checks, life, golden grams, sh sh sugar honey crisps, uh, the other golden grams, frosted mini wheats, uh, frost non frosted mini wheats. Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh. How many did you get? Six? I thought you got eight. Okay. Seven? That one is the frosted mini kind of wheat thing. He frosted says. Mi there's frosted wheats. And, and then frosted, frosted mini, mini wheats. And now I'm going to feel I'm gonna feel like a failure all night. I've never missed one, right. one and now it's, well, it happens. Categories, uh, let's see, I guess categories getting you in trouble with your famous friends. Which movie seemed longer? Waterworld or Men in Black? Uh, Waterworld seemed longer. That is correct. Thank yeah. Because I, I don't know those guys, you know what I mean? I might run into the men in black guys. Right. You know? yeah. Okay, and finally, uh, give me, give us three good reasons why a girl would not want to date you. Three. That's kind of tough. You seem kind of perfect. <laughs> three good reasons why a girl would yeah, not want to date you. I'm going to make out with you after the show. If you're <laughs> Did you see that recoil? Yeah. Funny and a line. Yeah. And uh, three good three reasons. Three good reasons. Not good on the phone. Okay. Um... Um, I have a sleeping disorder, don't wake up, drool in my sleep. Wow. Uh, and can be, this may be hard to believe, sort of loud-mouthed, obnoxious, and uh, sometimes a little annoying. That is correct. <laughs> oh, my God, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Those are all three right at once. All right. Uh, Changing Lanes opens tomorrow. It's supposed to be a great movie. Watch uh, Sam and Ben go at it. Uh, big hand for Ben Affleck. We'll be right back. <laughs>